And welcome to the news today on YHC. We're going to get started with a special guest we have. We have Dr. Gurpreet Boparai from Missouri Southern Healthcare along with us. And Dr. Boparai, it's good to have you back with us. Good to be here again. Sure. Each year, uh, the MSH provides a health screening or a breast cancer screening mm -hmm. for uh, the, the folks out there. And we, we like to have you in each year or somebody from MSH to just talk about breast cancer in, in depth and what it's all about. And what what to do about it and how to prevent from it so uh sure. first of all the the <laughs> screening is coming up yes it is coming up on october the 18th on tuesday and it will be done at uh, my clinic uh, family medical care on the, the business side of 60 and the timings are from 1 p.m till 6 p.m and i will be doing the breast exams and uh, everybody is uh, welcome to come, but the somebody who has a limitation on the schedule, they can make an appointment, but walk-ins are welcome as well. So again, it's on October 18th, and uh, the timing is from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Okay, <clears throat> and the screening is free, is that right? Yes, the screening is free. It's a free breast examination screening, and uh, we're not doing mammograms, but I'll be doing the breast exams, and if I think somebody needs uh, some more in-depth like um, evaluation mammograms or something else uh, they will be referred to that and the mammograms are done at our Dexter hospital okay all right so that's coming <laughs> up uh, next week on Tuesday and just talk a little bit about breast cancer and <laughs> just let's just start out simple what what exactly is breast cancer um, breast cancer is the cancer of the breast cells so in the what it happens is when the normal cells somehow the important chemical called DNA gets uh, damaged and the cells tr start to grow out of control and then these cells actually they don't die as the normal cell cycle but they keep growing and they can also take over the surrounding um, cells and then it can also travel through the blood and the other uh, like lymph to the other parts of the body. Okay. So. Well, how, hmm. how common or pervasive is breast cancer? Uh, it's very, very common. It's uh, the second most common cancer in the women, except uh, for the skin cancer, and the second leading cause hmm. of uh, deaths um, after the lung cancer in women. And it's almost a uh, like little less than a quarter million new cases come up, and almost uh, 40,000 deaths from breast cancer every year. Hmm. And, but I would like to say here that uh, there are more than 2.6 million survivors in the United States from breast cancer. The early detection from like screening, screening through examinations, through mammograms and following through. So it, it's very curable now. So yep, so that's very important. So the incidence has actually gone down. So. Okay. Uh, what about what causes breast <laughs> cancer? We, we're not sure what causes it, but there are several risk factors that can actually cause it. Uh, you, the, your chances of having an increased risk of breast cancer, so they're kind of broadly divided into two categories, the modifiables and the non-modifiables. The non-modifiables are like that cannot be changed. Um, being a female gender, being a woman, and because we are women, we have breast dense breast tissue, so that's the, the breast cancer grows in the breast cells. And then age, the chances of having a breast cancer increases with the age. And then personal history of previous cancer, breast cancer, family history, and some people are just what we call as genetically predisposed, that their genetic makeup is that way, that they are at a little bit increased risk of having breast cancer than the other people are. And uh, then the modifiables are that can be changed like breastfeeding, it actually decreases your risk of having breast cancer to some limit. Mm. Exercising routinely helps to decrease your chances of having a breast cancer. Whereas drinking and being overweight and being obese increases your chances of having breast cancer. And also sometimes there's, if you're on prolonged uh, hormone re replacement therapy that's given after the menopause to help the symptoms, can slightly increase your chances of having breast cancer as well. Hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And is, is there any way to prevent it? 
Um, we cannot stop it, but then the prevention is early detection and also working on decreasing your risks, like being healthy, keeping your weight uh, at a healthy range, exercising routinely, you know, you know doing, uh, trying to think, do things right, and then the timely screening, you know, breast self breast exam, clinical breast exam, and mammogram. You know, and if there is any suspicion, any abnormalities following through them, um, in that whatever is recommended going through it. So if so, it is detected early stage where it's curable. Okay. Now, is there any age range that someone might need to factor in? Yes, the guide, American Cancer Society has got their guidelines that starting from eight, um, in early 20s, the women should actually do a self-breast exam every month. It's recommended to be done after your menstrual periods. It's mostly to tell, like, what is, to, for the women to be aware, what is normal for each woman. And uh, they should go over with the technique of doing a self-breast exam with their medical provider. And also in young women, the um, breast tissue is very dense. And sometimes it's better to be checked out with the examination rather than any other imaging first. So, and for women in age 20s to 30s, they should at least have once every three years a clinical breast exam, which means the breast exam is done by a medical provider by a physician, a nurse practitioner, somebody who's in the medical field at least every three years, and they should review their technique, you know, learn from the provider how to do a self-breast exam. And starting from age 40, every woman should have a clinical breast exam every year with their uh, annual exam and also a mammogram every year, and then this can go up to as long as they are in good health and they want to go get their mammograms done as it's a factor that the, ri the risk of uh, breast cancer increases with the age. But uh, I want to stress over here that I have heard and seen a lot of the cases where young women in their 20s have breast cancer as well. They've been diagnosed with it. So at any age, you know, we should be very cautious and should take care of ourselves and get the breast exam done. Okay. Well, this Tuesday will be a good start to come down to the breast cancer screening sure. taking place at the which clinic now? It's the Family Medical Care. Okay. It's at the Business Hive at 60. Okay. Family Medical Care here in Dexter on Business 60. You can call. Uh, do you arrange an appointment? or? They can either arrange an appointment. <clears throat> they can call our clinic. The number is 573-624-7575. Or they can just walk in. Okay. Anywhere between 1 to 6 p.m. They'll be more than welcome. Okay, mm -hmm. 1 to 6 on Tuesday, the free breast cancer screening provided by Missouri Southern Healthcare here in Dexter. Dr. Bopra, anything else you'd like to share with our viewers? Um, I just again want to stress that it's very important to get your breast exam done and also very important starting age 40, especially this for everybody, but very important to be on time for the people who have history of family history of breast cancer or their own history of breast cancer in the past to be on top of it because that's the only thing that can help us to detect it early and then so you can get through the treatment and be a survivor. All right. Well, Dr. Bo Pry, we appreciate you coming by and sharing with us once again and we'll be looking forward to everyone coming down on Tuesday. Sure. All right. Thank you. And we'll be back with your